Dan, what do you think? I don't think that's a winning strategy for the for the Democrats here. I think that the facts are the facts. And the fact is, we have a great economy. Whether you want to give President Trump credit for that or not, it doesn't matter. It is what it is. And we so, would certainly target the president, regardless who he or she would be at the time, if, if, if it was a lousy economy. Absolutely. Right. The, the president would have to take the blame if it was going the other way. But it's not. So I think that the Democrats have a long road to go down to try to say, it's the economy because it's not the economy. Listen, I think President Trump in this election, it's his election to lose. He could be his own worst enemy by tweeting and other matters. Right. But when it comes to the economy, I think that's an area the Democrats should stay clear of, Neil. So I know where, where the direction and the passion is of the party. I wonder uh, if that boomerangs on them and in the general election where most Americans might not share that view. I think what Americans ultimately are going to realize is if Bill Gates gets richer, it doesn't mean they get poor. This class warfa uh, warfare uh, battle, I don't think is going to be what resonates, Neil. However, Danielle, you brought up uh, the taxes. So now that is something that will resonate. And there are a lot of people who didn't benefit from the new uh, Trump tax plan. However, I believe most of the people that got burned with the new tax plan are in blue states. And Trump is not going to win New York and New Jersey and Connecticut anyway. So I think that's brought off the table. I don't really think that the Trump tax plan is going to be an issue as far as changing the electoral college swinging one way or the other, Neil. Hunter might be saying, Dan, get this out of the way, get it done. I just think he reignited it. I think he did as well. I think the more this continues to come up over and over, Neil, the worse it is for Joe Biden. As far as the debate, And he wouldn't be getting off these boards and, and uh, untangling his arrangements if he didn't feel, at the very least, it didn't look good. Of course, it doesn't reflect well on his father. And we're going to see how that plays out tonight in the debate, because I think that you have the Democrats in a little bit of a tough situation. Right. If they go after Biden, in effect, they are siding with Trump's argument about Joe Biden. I don't expect anyone like Elizabeth Warren or Bernie Sanders to take that position to go after Biden. However, some of the other candidates who are far behind in the polls, who have nothing to lose, may say, hey, I'm going to put it out there and try to make a name for myself. Uh, Dan, I'm just wondering, what, you know, I had a feeling when a lot of these players were going to come back to the United States uh, that, that they would start feeling the freedom to talk about this. And as soon as they they have it, it, it and more will, they just make it worse. I agree, Neil. You know, the NBA is pretty progressive and a lot of the players are outspoken related sure. to social justice. And that's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But you can't just have social justice related to the things that Donald Trump says and does. We have terrible things going on in China, and it really looks horrible where the NBA, who's going to profit it, profit with China and Nike and King James, or now perhaps Chairman James, right? They're going to make so much money off of this market, so they're willing to say, well, maybe we should have held those comments because then we wouldn't have had China have a blackout of our game or start banning our products. All well, that's, that's money. that's what got them to change their tune when the economic impact hit, right? I mean, and, and that prompted them to say, all right, well, we don't want to go too far here. I always thought they should tempt fate and call the Chinese bluff and say, all right, you're going to penalize us, then go to the European Basketball League. See how that works for you. Right, or your own, or just broadcast your own, your own Chinese Basketball League uh, and see how that does for racing. I actually agree with the rest of the panel, and I wish, actually... Hold on a wow. minute. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hold on, I want to do a Fox <laughs> alert. <laughs> Continue. Big graphic. No, I yeah. mean, one of the things that America exports and has exp exported since its founding is the, right, the, the idea that there is a right of free speech. We export NBA, we export uh, Nikes, we export the personalities of these players, um, the dreams that these players have had from, you know, beginning these, these games that have created incredible lives for them. So I'm I'm disappointed to say at the least that they cannot get past what appears to be a profit motive and stand behind the Hong Kong protesters and stand behind what is fundamentally an American freedom and a value that is. But well, who was the owner, America. though, said, you know, we have our problems the way we, you know, treat you know, minorities and police shootings and everything else. So they tried to equate the two countries. Steve Kerr, the coach. Was of the that, so, yeah. 
I, I just thought, there, where are you going here? Uh, uh, no, and Steve Kerr's terrible father was, was yeah. murdered I agree. overseas, and I mean, he, he should know better, and, and I think he should clarify those remarks. I think it would just be better, hey, look, I mean, whether you're on one side of the aisle or the other, and whether you're anti-Trump right. or pro-Trump, you know, you can't talk bad about you know the American culture of life when other countries have these major Or dial nations. it back when you get a little heat. At a very minimum. And I'm, very I'm minimum. just saying, I mean, anyone who has seen the, this video of these protests in Hong Kong and the fallout from that, and that you fold to that for maybe perfectly valid financial reasons, you've just got to man up and say, I did it for woman financial up. reasons. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And, right. And yeah. Or both. If you're going to be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can't take a position to be holier than thou when it's right. convenient for you. And that's really what the issue is here. The NBA looks extremely hypocritical in how they're handling this whole thing because the league really does cherish freedom of speech, except the for, WNBA wouldn't do this. No, of course they wouldn't. <laughs> of course they wouldn't except when it interferes with profits, and then right. that all has to be set aside, and that's the problem, Neil. It's not set aside, though. It's, uh, it's all, not. It's just business. It is just business. Whatever. $20 for a It's so Where expensive. Where you get Bob? You're in Manhattan. <laughs> right. Manhattan. You go to, like, if you go to the IMAX in Manhattan, it's 100 bucks for two people. Wow. If you're going to Or you go to right. Dan's house. Or you go to Dan's house. Bring a little, got space on the <laughs> wall. <laughs> <laughs> Presumed you might be okay. It's like uh, a private uh, theater. Eric, it is interesting, though. You think about it, that, that, that you know, we love our entertainment, all of this, but we have a lot of choices now. And, and if you had all of these choices, Choices. You're actually paying more uh, than you were when you had the single cord and, and that entertainment unless you just cut some of those out. Well, not only that, but it seems to me that this, like many other cases, the race to be first might not be the best, right? Yeah. Because you're going to be, you're going to have to adjust it. I think you're right, which is, you know, if they can tie it together with the movie experience, then you can make a dent into that space. Don't but, they have like a studs program or something like that? They or? do have the uh, similar to the movie pass, where you can pay a monthly fee and go see a certain mm -hmm. number Any of movies, movie which I think is a great idea. Mix those two things together, and you might you might have an that edge would hook in you, Danielle, right? You could do those foreign documentaries or anything. I know all the art house films. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think of this whole thing? It, it, it draws males in more than females, right? I mean, I remember reading that. Uh, that does not surprise me. Men tend to like convenience when sit we're... Sit on the couch, <laughs> do nothing. <laughs> well, well, yeah. you know, I didn't want to go that far. Yeah, but, yeah. 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 Here's my yeah. question. Are they serving <laughs> lasagna in theaters? That's why I'm not leaving my house. I paid $20 for that, not the popcorn. They just covered that last leg of the journey, right? I I just can't believe that something like this can really work on a mass sc scale, Neil. I it's mean, a lot having, of work, right? having people come into your house and, and, you know, in your refrigerator, you put everything in just the spot. You know where to grab the ketchup and the milk and all right. these other things. Now they're going to mess with that sequential order. That, oh. that to me is the deal breaker. And by the way, can they do it when you're not home? Because well, that would worry me. Like, leave those <laughs> ring dings where they are. Very <laughs> revealing, actually. I want to come to your house and look at your fridge. I'm sure it's far more organized than mine. <laughs> Question, will you be it's home? all Italian cold cuts. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Mine's just full of beer and yeah, uh, oh, yeah, please. cheese. But, but, but now they've started again. Here's the kid. I love this guy. Um, <gasps> he was not happy when the screen went black. Uh, now he's running for Congress, by the way. Uh, but anyway, I, I'm looking at that, and now it's up and running again. So these kids who had to reintroduce themselves to their family now are back up in their It's own. amazing, Neil. So you had uh, approximately 250 million kids, people, whatever, were cut off. I mean, this is a major event. You know, how about something novel like while Fortnite was down, kids would actually go outside and play or <laughs> try to find a friend or do something other than just look at a screen? I mean, it, it's, it, it's I don't get it. It's a sad commentary. Listen, Eric, maybe if it was don't asteroids. Don't let your kids do this. Right? If it was asteroids or Pac-Man, maybe I can yes, understand yeah, it, Neil. That's I our generation, know. right?